Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Normally on this channel I talk about older exercises that are not performed anymore that many people don't know about, maybe aren't doing, or don't really understand. Today we're going to talk about an exercise that is still performed but is not something you'll see done by the normal gym goer. That is the neck curl. This is probably one of the best exercises used to prevent things like concussions, whiplash, and other head-related injuries. I myself have had a long history with things like concussions since I played college rugby and was also a pretty decent football player in my youth. Now, if you're curious about that, I can make a whole different video on that later, but today we're going to talk about one of the exercises that many of my coaches often recommended me to perform and became a daily staple in my workout routine. Beyond this, neck exercises are often performed by bodybuilders and were absolutely performed by old school golden era bodybuilders to help enhance the look of the upper body and to make you look powerful in something like a shirt, for example. Now, depending on the trainer or the person you were talking about, some people believed that it, you were able to overdo it, but others advocated performing neck exercises every day for the reasons I will discuss in this video. With all that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I hope you all enjoy this video. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a licensed medical practitioner. The following video is not medical advice and is strictly my opinion. Before going any further, I just want to briefly go over the different types of head trauma athletes can endure. According to the Mayo Clinic, a concussion occurs from a mild blow to the head, either with or without loss of consciousness, and can lead to temporary cognitive symptoms. Symptoms depend on the severity of the concussion, but often include dizziness, confusion, blurred vision, vomiting, fatigue, among other things. This type of injury is commonplace in physical contact sports, such as American football, rugby, and wrestling. Concussions can occur from either a sudden impact or as a secondary effect of something called whiplash. Whiplash occurs when the head rapidly accelerates then decelerates, causing bruising and swelling in and around the brain. In 2014, Collins et al. found a significant correlation between neck strength and size and concussions. For example, they determined that a bigger neck equals a lower risk of concussions. For years, coaches of various sports have been implementing neck strengthening exercises to mitigate neck-related injuries. The idea of building a thicker, stronger neck is to reduce whiplash specifically, thus mitigating the rapid acceleration and deceleration of the brain inside the skull. Although medical and scientific research in this field is still in its infancy, it appears to have at least a marginal effect on preventing head trauma. As a former D1 prospect in football, I will talk to you all about an exercise I used to perform daily to help bulletproof my neck and prevent neck and head related issues, the plate neck curl. This is definitely not a difficult exercise to perform and you don't need a whole lot to do it. All you'll need is a flat bench, a weight plate, and a rolled towel, which is optional but highly recommended. First, you will begin by sitting on a flat bench with a towel and weight plate in your hand. Then, you will lean back and place the towel on the top of your forehead and then the plate on top of that towel. You should feel the weight pulling your head down, but it should not be uncomfortable or painful. While holding both items with your fingertips, slowly lower your head back until slightly before being perpendicular to the floor. Now you will contract the muscles of your neck and tuck your chin to your chest to complete the exercise. How this exercise looks for you depends entirely on your age and health. If you feel pain at any time, stop and reevaluate your form and range of motion. Remember, we are training the flexor muscles of the neck, not the abdominals. Do not perform a crunch here. Also, you don't want to pull the weight up with your hands when elevating your head. This takes stress off the muscles we are trying to train. I recommend performing this exercise for between 15 to 30 reps and 3 to 5 sets. This is a similar set rep range to something like training calves. Now I will demonstrate the exercise for you. And this is the plate neck curl. As you can see, I am lying flat on this bench. 
I have the towel rested on my forehead and the weight plate on the towel. All I'm doing is curling up with my neck, bringing my chin to my chest, slow and controlled, for the prescribed number of reps. Like I've said already, this is not a complicated exercise, but it is one of the best, especially for developing a thick, strong, and healthy neck. Now this is just one of many different exercises used to strengthen the neck. Things like wrestling bridges, neck extensions, and using a neck harness are all other ways. If any of you are curious and seeing videos on those, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness, signing out. Bye-bye.